my name is Sher and I'm a math and science tutor. Welcome to my channel and happy holidays! Today, I'll be taking the rest of the math portion of the ACT. Stay tuned to see how long I take in total. If you like watching these sorts of videos, make sure to leave a like and subscribe so you get notified on future videos. Let's get on to it. Oh, I is east, J is north. So we're talking about south by 12. It's going to be negative because it's opposite of J, negative 12 J. Um, if the water was redistributed equally, basically we're talking about mean again. What is the fractional part? Okay, so we're just going to add all that. 1 fourth plus 1 half plus 4 fifths is going to be uh, 25 twentieths plus 10 twentieths plus 16. 26, 31. 31 over 20. And if we split it by 4, we're going to divide by 4. 31 over 80. Uh, he's purchasing carpet tiles. That is 88 and one third. Each carpet is 20 inches by 20 inches. Minimum number of carpet tiles, 20. Oh, feet. So uh, one feet is 12 inches. So 10 feet is 120. Eight and one third, eight feet is 96. And one third is 12 divided by three is four. This is 100 inches. Alright, so 100 inches, so if it's 12 in, so there are 5, 20 inches and 100, that's 5. 6, 20 inches and 120, 5 times 6 is 30. Circle formula, so it's going to be negative 8 and negative 5. Equals to R squared, 9 square F. Long story, goes straight to the problem. It costs this much to administer each test and each 50 for that test. How much to administer to all the volunteers? Alright, so each person has to take two tests, so it takes 2550 for per person. And how many people are there? 600, 400, 1000 people multiplied by 1000, we just add three zeros. E. There we go. What percent actually carry? Alright, so if you're asking what percent. Uh, the positive, all of these people carry then. Um, 615 out of a thousand people. It's gonna be J then. How many volunteers did the test give an inaccurate? So, positive, but we got a negative, or negative, but you get a positive. That's going to be 35 in total. Of the volunteers, which the SAM77 test was positive, so out of this group of people, okay. Which is 600 of them. What's the probability that they do not have the test? That ha they do not, ha not have it. 10 out of 600. And of course, it's in decimals. 600, that's just 1 out of 60. It's going to be 0 0.0333 divided by 2, which is F. Uh, matrix X is this, matrix Y is that, which is X times Y. So negative 1 times negative 2 is 2, plus 0 times negative 1. Just D. No graph in one of the following categories has a vertical line of symmetry. So it's not symmetrical. Lines are symmetrical, squares are symmetrical, so it's a pentagon and a parallelogram. It's only scalene triangles. We need to solve this equation 24x squared plus 2x minus 15 equals to 0. Now here's a trick for eliminating answers. If you look at the denominator, the denominator needs to be a factor of 24. So 4 is a factor, 3 is a factor, 6 and 6 are factors. 15 is not a factor of 24. You eliminate that. And the new, do the same for the numerator. Numerator needs to be a factor of 15. 3 is a factor, 4 is not a factor of 15. 5 is a factor, 7 is not a factor. So this already eliminates my answers by a lot. I can already tell the denominators 4 and 6, that's 24. 4 x times 6x and the numerator is 3 and 5 it has to be 3 well is it this way 3 and 5 4 and 3 are matched together 5 and 6 are matched together i'm assuming it's this way 4 times 5 is 23 times 16 is 18 we want positive 2 so positive 5 negative 3 3 fourths negative 5 6 3 fourths is obviously greater it's going to be 8 
This is a trigonometry formula, sine a plus b. So in this case, sine 60 plus 30, j. So circumference, uh, 2 pi r equals to 12 pi, r equals 6, pi r squared will equal to 36 pi. That's it, d. This is much. So formula for solutions. M1C1 plus M2C2 equals to MFCF. So first one, I'm just going to be basing off solvent. 0.4% times 25 plus um, pure solvent, which is 100% times some X equals to, he wants 50, 50, 0 0.5 times, the final volume is going to be 25 plus X. 25 times 4 is 100, divided by 10 is 10, plus x equals 12.5 plus 0.5x. Shift it around, 0.5x equals to 2.5, so multiply by 2, x is going to be 5. They want us to combine the fraction, so x squared minus xy plus xy plus y squared, cross cross over difference of square, x squared minus y squared. E. Mary, James, and Carlos. So this Mary sold twice as much as Carlos. James sold three times as Mary as much as Mary. So who sold the least? Mary sold twice as many as Carlos. So Carlos sold the least. We'll say Carlos is X. Mary sold twice as many. Two by X. James sold three times as many as Mary. Six X. So Carlos is X over six two one. It's nine X. So X. So it's gonna be one nine. Um, there are three spots. Six plants to choose from. The positions of the unselected plants do not of the unselected plants do not matter matter. Mm, how many possible displays can she make? Well, she can select six plants. Um she has six options times five options times four options. So that's um 120. What about this one? Area of the triangle, well that's half times, what's the base? Uh, for, for A times 5, 5B, which is 10 uh, AB. What's the matter with you? Let's look at the next problem. So, uh, slope of MQ, well, what happens to it? M remains fixed, Q moves to the right. So Q moves this way, so it becomes more gentle. So more gentle. So like again, so 5, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3-ish. So obviously it doesn't stay the same. Ah, here's the trick. So someone who thinks more gentle would think it, it, it decreases, but because this is a negative number, it actually increases. All right, but will never be positive eventually. Well, for it to be positive, it has to go up here, but that means it has to leave the x-axis, so that means it would never be positive. D, one of the following values is equal to f 5a. Basically, find 5a, which is right here. That's going to be 8b. Okay, all right. Um, how many people should be summoned to have as close as possible to 60 people? So we want to select 60 people. Okay, so if someone show, is summoned, they might appear, they might not appear. Only 40% of people who are summoned that actually appear. So 40% is about two-fifths. That means did not appear is three-fifths. And of the people who appear, one third are excused. That means two thirds would be put to the jury pool. So the probability of a person, a random person, um, being selected to the jury pool is two fifths times uh, two thirds, which is actually four fifteenths. So out of X number of people, four fifteenths of them would be selected and we want 60 people. So uh, get rid of the four first. My, um, divide by 4, x over 15 equals to uh, 15, <laughs> cross multiply, x equals to 2 to 5. D. 
while there's a 275th digit after the decimal point in this. So it repeats every 4, so basically we want to see like if we divide this by 4, what's the remainder. Now here's the trick for dividing by 4s, you just want to look at the last 2 digits, so 75. Every 100 is divisible by 4, so like it doesn't matter if it's 100, 200 or 300, just look at 75. Um, 75 definitely not divisible by 4, in fact, the closest number divisible to 4 is between 72 and 76. So this would mean that when we divide this by 4, we get a remainder of 3. That means it's going to be 9. Um, composite functions, f, g, x equals to 0. So basically our function is now x plus 3 squared minus 4 equals to 0. x plus 3 equals plus minus 2. x equals to subtract 3, negative 1, negative 5. Negative 1, there we go. Um, greatest value, and p, and also p is positive and it's negative. So because it's an absolute function, it doesn't matter what the what the denominator and the numerator are. We just want the largest numerical value on top and the smallest value at the bottom. So at the bottom, we would rather have p over we would rather have n over p. We want a big numerator, a small denominator. So we prefer n. So anything with p, we would eliminate. P minus n versus p. So if positive number subtracted by a negative number will give you a much, much more positive number. We don't want h then. And if the numerator p minus, so this is like 5 minus negative 1 and 5 plus negative 1, g would give you the bigger option then. Simplify this, i minus 1 minus i over negative i plus 1 plus i. Cancel, 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 we just get negative 1 systems of inequalities. y is less than or equal to negative one half x plus three. Negative slope first, we eliminate j. This is x squared plus y squared is greater than four. So the radius is two. And we want something bigger, so it needs to be shaded outside of the circle. So not G, we want outside the circle. Oh, also not 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 H. Did we really eliminate that? Oh, Y is less than, so it needs to be below the that. There we go. All right, so we've got F and K left. All right, this is three. This is three, and the radius is two. So this is two. This is this is not possible. This circle needs to be underneath the line. AC equals to 1, B plus C over D is undefined, ABC equals to D, which the following must be true. B plus C over D is undefined. So, so for something to be undefined, the denominator must be 0. So ABC must equal to 0. Let's look at option A first. If A equals to 0 or C equals to 0, uh, that could work. Oh, but AC equals to 1, so A and C cannot be 0. That means B must be 0. Alright, and let's look at this one, number 58. This is a cosine function, so the amplitude here is 3. So 3 cosine, and typically a cosine graph has a period of 2 pi, but this one is pi. So that means there was a horizontal shrink by 2, because from 2 pi to pi, so it's going to be 2x. Okay. The string. So I think, I'm not sure if we can use cosine root, but I'm just going to use cosine root. So string is x over sine 45 equals to 240 over 75 plus 45 is 120. This is 60. Sine 60. Cross multiply root 3x equals to root 2 times 240 x equals to root 2 times uh, 3 times 80 over root 3. Um, 80 root 6. The publisher charges $15 for the first copy and then ordered 12 for each dollar additional copy. So this sounds like an arithmetic sequence, 15 for the first and then each additional one is at 12 but then you have to do n minus 1 because you have to add, not count the first one. So that's 12n plus 3. Um, F. And that's it. That's the entire math portion of the ACT. And there you have it. The entire math portion of the ACT completed. Overall, it took me about 25 minutes to do without a calculator. 
So my thoughts on the ACT versus the SAT. The ACT is more algebra and geometry based, whereas the SAT is more algebra and statistics based. Just looking at statistics topics, the SAT tests heavily on data and graph analysis, mean, median, mode, percentages, and probability questions, whereas the ACT only tests mean, median, mode, probability, and permutations and combinations. The ACT also tests more in-depth on topics like trigonometry, where students need to be able to identify trigonometric functions, recall the sum and difference formula, and the sine rule. And all of these are topics where students who do not do Algebra 2 honours will never learn. Both tests have their pros and cons, so make sure to pick the one that best suits you. More importantly, make sure to do your research to see which test you require for your college of choice. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe so you get notified when my next science portion comes out. Happy Holidays!